What I'm going to demonstrate is how to amortize the discount on a note receivable with a lump sum payment. Uh, that's a payment at the end of the period when the note is due. And we'll use the effective interest method. So what is that uh, note receivable here? Say, for example, we sold a building in exchange for a note receivable. So we sold a building here at the beginning of year one, and then here four years later, we receive 4,000 cash for that uh, building. So what we have to do here is we have to amortize the interest that we've earned over those four years. So this is how we do that. First we have to go back here and discount this $4,000 uh, payment that we're going to receive back to today's present value. That's what it's worth today at the beginning of year one. So do that you either have to use a calculator or um, in this case I use an Excel formula so here I use the present value formula and put in the interest rate here I use 10 percent and number of periods four years and it was a payment at the end of the when the new it comes due so that was a future value I use four thousand dollars and then the type here was end payment, end of the year, so I used zero. So what we have here is a present value of $2,732 for the $4,000 cash that we're going to receive four years into the future. So the interest that we would calculate here would be based on the $4,000 future value of this note minus its present value of $2,732, and that we'd have uh, amortized interest here of twelve hundred and sixty eight dollars so what we have to do is we have to amortize or allocate that interest revenue earned on this note receivable to the income statement over the four-year period all right let's calculate the interest revenue that we earn each year on this note receivable okay we start out with the beginning balance here twenty seven hundred and thirty two dollars well, that we calculated earlier as the discounted value of that note receivable or its present value at the time of the transaction. Then we multi uh, include the interest for the we earned that year, and it was a 10% interest rate times our beginning balance here, 2732. So we get an interest of uh, earned of $273. We add that to the beginning balance of 2732 no payments received so we end up with an ending balance of three thousand and five dollars now this ending balance of year one becomes the beginning balance of year two so we just repeat this the calculating interest here so we take ten percent times three thousand and five three hundred and one dollars so we add their interest onto our beginning balance and we come up with an ending balance now we repeat this for years three and four Let's just look at year four here. We had a beginning balance of 36.36 uh, times 10% interest, with $364 of interest for the year. So we add the 364 to 3636, and we have uh, $4,000. Now that's the year that we get paid at the end of the year. So we had a $4,000 balance here minus the $4,000 that we got paid. So our ending balance becomes one thousand or zero dollars here. Now, the end of year balance here is the first of year balance plus the interest revenue for the year. That's how we calculate that. Now, looking at our interest earned, or uh, we we amortize that interest here. And that would be our interest equals the first of the year balance times the interest rate. That's what we have. And then just keep remembering here the first of the year balance equals the end of the last year balance. So uh, end of uh, year one becomes the beginning of year two. So that's the interest revenue or our discounted revenue that we charge against the note receivable. All right, here we'll look at how we record our notes receivable, which is an asset on the balance sheet, and our sales revenues, which is part of net income on the income statement. So in the beginning of year one, 
when we sold the building in exchange for a note receivable, we uh, record $4,000 here as a debit to notes receivable. And then we have this contra revenue account to notes receivable. And what is that? Well, in the year one when the building is sold, we have a $4,000 uh, note receivable minus its present value. Uh, that was 2732 So you subtract 4000 minus 2732 and you get 1268 bucks. Now this discount here gets um, reduced each year by the um, interest earned. So we look at, we debit our interest earned here to discount notes receivable for each year. And then at the end of year four, there's a zero balance in that. Now the associated credit uh, balance, our credit entry to discounts notes receivable would be to our sales revenue. For each year, uh, the interest earned gets recorded here under the sales revenue. And now if we look at year one, the present value of that note receivable was 2732 plus the interest earned for each year, that equals $4,000. So there's what our notes receivable is. All right. Okay, let's go over here and look at the notes receivable. Now, at the end of the uh, fourth year, uh, we receive a cash payment on our notes receivable. So we uh, reduce notes receivable here to zero, and then we debit their cash or increase their cash to $4,000 here. All right, so this is just an overview of how we'd record a notes receivable uh, with a discount amount here for um, a lump sum payment.